Hi, my name is Shannon Roberts and I am a product manager at Radiant Vision Systems. Today I'm going to be demonstrating our solution for measuring an array of LEDs to output luminous intensity or candela value as well as CIE color coordinates CXCY. The idea behind the solution is that we use a Radiant Vision Systems imaging colorimeter to acquire an image or measurement of an array of LEDs and then use our true test software and LED intensity test to provide both a candela value for each LED and the CXCY coordinates. We can also perform additional analysis such as looking for uh, dead LEDs or looking at the uniformity across the strip. So today I'm going to be running an analysis on six measurements that have previously been taken. So I'm going to hit run sequence we can see it going through each of the six sequence steps for the six different measurements and then we'll go through each of these individually. So the first test here is just our basic um, LED intensity test and this is showing that we can auto find all of all 14 of these LEDs as well as output their candela and CXCY coordinates. In this case none of our LEDs failed. Additionally, if our strip is rotated or in a different position, we can automatically detect these LEDs in, in any orientation that they might be. And again here, we uh, didn't fail, fail any LEDs in this strip. So next, we have another LED strip, and in this case, one of the LEDs is out, so we're only able to find 13. In this case, the strip is going to fail because we were expecting to find 14 LEDs and we only found 13. Next is an example of an LED strip where one of the LEDs is the wrong color. So these are all white LEDs, but we can see this LED here has um, lower CXCY coordinates and is a little bit bluer than the others. So in this case, we set a pass-fail criteria that the CXCY values both be above 0.3, and in this case, we can see that the, the LED failed. And that also corresponds over here with our results. We can see that uh, this, this test failed. Uh, next, we have another case where this time the color is correct, but our candela value is too low. We've set a um, minimum candela value of 0.05 and this LED is only about 0.02 so it fails that as well. Uh, and then lastly we just wanted to demonstrate that this test can be performed on a larger array of LEDs that takes up a larger portion of the field of view. Uh, additionally after we've run our tests we can look at an automatically generated report that shows us shows us the same data. So here we have a, a report created in the Radiant Vision Systems report generator. Uh, so we can see that um, overall this, this failed because of three failing steps. And for each of the steps we can go in and see the camera and analysis image, all of the candela and CXCY values um, for all, all of our, our measurements here. So this is just another way to easily export the results and, and review them later.